How to shave your face. Should you skip shaving and save yourself from potential razor burn? Or should you get a nice close shave and save a loved one from certain whisker burn? Learn to shave correctly and you'll solve this burning question to everyone's satisfaction. You will need warm water, a razor, shaving cream, a mirror, a sink or basin, cool water, a towel, and the aftershave lotion or moisturizer of your choice. Optional, a washcloth, a styptic pencil, and some tissue or toilet paper. Step one, fill your sink or basin halfway with warm water. Step two, wet a washcloth with warm water and hold it to your face for a few minutes to soften the hair and open up your skin's pores. If you don't have a few minutes to spare, just wet your face directly with warm water. It's better than nothing. Step three, check to see if the blade on your razor is fresh. If not, replace it. Shaving with a dull blade increases your chances of cutting yourself. Step four, squirt a small amount of shaving cream into your palm and using the fingers of your other hand, spread it evenly over your stubble. Watch what you're doing in the mirror. Step five, concentrating on one side of your face, start near your sideburns and slowly drag the razor downward in the direction your facial hair grows. Use light but firm pressure. Shaving against the natural direction of your facial hair can cause razor burn and ingrown hairs. Step six, after every few strokes, rinse off your blade in the sink to keep it from getting clogged with hair. Continue shaving, and when you've finished one side from your ear to your jawline, move to the other side of your face. Step seven, when you've finished both sides, tackle the trickier spots, your chin and neck. Shave more slowly and carefully in these areas, stretching your skin with one hand while shaving with the other. If you cut yourself, use a styptic pencil to stop the bleeding. If you don't have one, press a small piece of tissue or toilet paper onto the cut. Step eight, shave the remaining areas above and below your lips. For a closer shave, contort your mouth as needed. Step nine, check to see if you've missed any spots in your face, especially just under your jawline. If so, go back and shave them. You may want to reapply some shaving cream. Step 10. Rinse your face with cool water and remove any remaining shaving cream, then pat your face dry with a towel. Step 11. Apply aftershave or moisturizer to revitalize your traumatized skin. Now go get them, handsome. Did you know? Some cave paintings depict ancient man removing facial hair by using two seashells as tweezers. <laughs>